This might be one of the most impressive things I have ever seen. A completely maxed Town Hall 14 base, tripled only using 33 camp space in the World Championship Qualifier Challenge. We are out here in Finland right now getting ready for the World Championship that's starting in only a couple hours. So we're gonna keep this video short and sweet today, but check this out guys. Watch how he's able to pull this off. He used two healers, one wizard, and one archer as his entire army. He was allowed to use his siege machine and all of his spell lineup and his heroes, but the goal of the challenge was to swag as many troops as possible. You can see that he started off with a one healer queen charge. He had the flank leader going after the town hall with an earthquake to activate it while also using the lightning to take out the buildings next to the town hall so that the queen could make her way past there over to the scatter shot and make her way into the base. So the king came in down the line to cut off her pathing. And then the king circled down around the base there while the queen went inside with just her unicorn and one healer keeping her alive. Now, you don't have the whole army here to deal with if you want to make it on the leaderboards because I think the leaderboards were a worst using like 50 troop space. So this one putting him into the top 20 in the leaderboards, which is insane that the people that did it even more uh, impressive than he did and used less troops. I don't know how they possibly did that, but you can see where the warden joined with the king. The king surged in, used his ability, and he used the ward ability to protect the barbarians to make sure that the king was able to get as much as possible. So here's where it gets kind of fancy because you can see the queen fighting off the lava hound down south. She's completely safe with her unicorn and her one healer making her carry through. And then he throws down one wizard to work on the cleanup and then the royal champion goes in. And as soon as that air defense goes down, you can see that he drops in his other healer. That is two healers total. I don't know how people are doing it with only one healer maybe use total or if they're doing it in a different way there. It's uh, kind of a mystery to me and it's kind of amazing that anybody's able to pull this off with anywhere close to this kind of craziness. But he's able to get the eagle artillery down, taking eagle artillery strikes. Actually, you know, he didn't actually take eagle artillery strikes there through the majority of the attack because he didn't drop enough troops to be able to activate the eagle artillery. So then the jump carries the queen over to the last scatter shot using his freezes to work his way through there yet he's come out of the flame thing on the right side help support there and his cleanup stays safe all the way through but you're wondering where i use that archer it's over in the right hand corner picking off one army camp that got missed otherwise he would end up with the time fill so completely sweep it through and you can see how many troops he had to spare here this is absolutely insane rc survives all the way to the end the queen survives to the end the, the warden survives to the end the king is the only True, that died and the one healer that was working with the queen died as she passed through the middle base there. So that's pretty impressive to completely crush a completely maxed Town Hall 14 base that was used in a world championship qualifier. And literally, I think for once we can say they literally swagged their whole army.